G7 leaders are due to sign off a long-term security arrangement with Ukraine at the NATO summit in Lithuania. The agreement would provide more defence equipment and training exercises for Ukraine's military. But NATO has stopped short of providing a time frame for Kyiv to join the security alliance, angering President Zelensky. Our diplomatic correspondent James Landale sent this report from Lithuania. To welcome in our midst our dear friend uh, Vladimir Zelensky, President uh, of Ukraine. Welcome to you, Vladimir. It's great to have you here. Ukraine may not be a member of NATO, but today its president was embraced by the alliance almost as one of its own. Given a seat at the table for the first time as a member of a new council where he can raise concerns as an equal partner. Yesterday, Ukraine's leader said it was absurd NATO would not say when and how his country could join. Today, he sounded more optimistic. NATO needs us just as we need NATO, and I believe that this is absolutely fair. I am confident that after the war, Ukraine will be in NATO, will be doing everything possible to make it happen. That confidence came after meetings with allies like the Prime Minister, who was full of warm words. It's good to see you here at the Czech, yes. where you belong. But he also came bearing gifts, plans to guarantee Ukraine's security before it joins NATO. In a very good use, I think we can have success with security guarantees today. Yes, I think it's very... Those guarantees will not come from NATO, but from individual countries, such as these G7 leaders who met this morning, coming together to try to deter future Russian aggression. So that will involve promises of more training like this, more arms and weapons, but also more intelligence and industrial support, guaranteed for the long term, to make Ukraine hard to defeat. We must ensure that when this war ends, there are credible arrangements in place for Ukraine's security, so that history does not repeat itself. I therefore welcome that many allies will today commit to providing long-term security assistance to Ukraine. The problem is that Western powers have given Ukraine security guarantees in the past and they have failed twice to deter Russia from invading. So NATO allies are in a rush to agree a package of measures that they hope will work this time, once they've worked out where to sit. Well, James joins me from that summit. So where are we with this lunchtime, James, in terms of, of that agreement, the tone of all the conversations there? Well, look, if yesterday was a difficult day because President Zelensky simply didn't get what he wanted over promises of a time and how and a when Ukraine's going to join NATO, today everybody's been falling over each other to try and put on a united front. So you've had the Prime Minister, you've had Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General, all making warm words about the Prime Minister saying, look, that Ukraine belonged in NATO. You had the Secretary General saying, look, we meet today um, as, as friends. I hope in future we, we will meet as allies. You also had President Zelensky being, as you heard, very confident, saying, look, this is going to happen. Uh, to bolster that, there's also been this announcement of security guarantees that will sort of fill the gap between the end of the war uh, and the start of, of, of Ukraine becoming a NATO member. That's designed to give more reassurance to try and deter any future Russian aggression. Um, the one small slight note of discordance was perhaps from the Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, who gave a briefing to reporters this morning and he told us that he made the suggestion that Ukraine should at times be a little bit more grateful for the support it's getting in the, on the, from the international community. The point he was making was that uh, when Ukraine goes out there, it has to understand that there are domestic political pressures in lots of countries, particularly the United States, where Joe Biden is facing a pretty tough Congress that does not want to give Ukraine a bilateral, a, 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 a sort of open blank check for the future. He said, look, you know, these countries are not like Amazon. Ukraine just can't come along and type it in. So that's why the Defence Secretary said that Ukraine should possibly show a little bit of gratitude. That might not get, get, go down too well with all allies here, let alone Ukraine. All right, James. Thank you. James Landale there at the summit in Lithuania.